So recently I've been pulling away from Death Trap in a sense. Uh, at least I haven't made a lot of Death Trap recently. And I've been making more dubstep. And one of the things I've realized while making dubstep and pulling a lot of inspiration from artists like Butte Noise and Dyadic is that percussion can make or break a track. Absolutely. Here we have a little drop concept for something I'm working on um, with kind of a background synth. And I'm, I'm going to play you it with the background synth. Then I'm going to play you it with all of this percussion in it as well. And then you hopefully will be able to see or hear how much percussion makes a difference whenever it's added. So I'm just going to play this. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that again, but I'm going to turn on all of my percussion. All of this stuff that I laid by hand. And one thing that I've also found really cool is um, processing percussion like this with a disperser, with an OTT, which for some reason is broken on my computer, cutting out the lows, and then soft clipping it with just a basic 3D soft clipping. And with the percussion in, it's really interesting because it starts to sound so much more full. Yeah, there you have it. Add percussion to your tracks, people.